Just because I went to a small school doesn't mean <laughs> oh, that the fraternity can't be a national fraternity. Which one was it? Chi-Fi. Okay. Yeah. How many chapters nationwide? Like four? Four? Oh, I have no idea. Five? Chi-Fi. I have no idea. When you're in Phi Delta Theta and you're one of the big boys, you look down on the Chi-Fis. It's, I mean, it's cute. It's quaint. Yeah. It's adorable. Look. I went to a One college, a boys. small college. D3. Every aspect of the social component was done by the fraternities and the sorority. Yeah, you, you almost had a place. My school, too. Yeah. I went to a commuter school, a big school, Cal North State Ridge. Northridge. Okay, look yeah. at that. Which, uh, the dirt bags. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> oh, that's Long Beach. That's Long Beach. I get those two mixed <laughs> up. Dang it. Explain that. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's tough. That's the a tough Matadors. Break. Look at my two guys the throwing Matadors. haymakers. Completely different county. <laughs> we looked down on the dirt bags. Actually, we, we... Went to Long Be- we went to Long Beach and we walked out with wins, is what happened. Hmm. In- including like, baseball. Dude. In the late '80s and the early '90s, before say, the, that was so far back, before the dirt bags were yet. even anything, back when Long Beach was just Cal State Long Beach, back to the Niners, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> thank let you. me start if I may. Start. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Shock I didn't know you. we started yet. So yesterday, somehow I got game tape of the crossover we do every day. Okay, and I'm telling Man. you, I was with my father. He pointed Shout out Norm. how much I'm stepping on you guys, and we listened to it. I was embarrassed. So nothing will be wrong moving forward, but I'm going to be out a little more because I have stepped on you three. And I, I want to ask an honest question to all three of you. Had you guys talked about it? Because every – I couldn't – Dave, you can't get a word out with me. That, well, but I'm excited, and I'm stepping over all three of you. So I'm going I'm to step back now. I, I really resisted the urge to interrupt you right there. Which, because that's probably what what, what should have happened. <laughs> no, have have we talked about it? I can't speak for these two. I've no, never even, no, you can't. I've never even thought. <laughs> I've never even thought of it. Oh I've never my. thought of it. I'm pretty sure what they mean right there is they've right. talked about me Something stepping was on them. No, yeah. no, I, I, no. I mean, what we've talked about that's is what is, this is. Well, the crossover is Mark and Guru and Steiny and I shooting nonverbal glances at each other. Oh, well, no, that hurt. I, that I mean. I, I, okay, if you're oh. gonna fire, I'm gonna fire oh, back. Oh, fire! Oh, that I'm out of this. Pew, pew. You, you're I'm out of this one. The I'm same, out on the this same one. way you're out of most <laughs> of them. Because you check hey, out. You, you check out. I fatigue you, late. <laughs> you, put your, <laughs> you put your bag on your shoulder well, and you stand no. up. But that's and only. You start moving no. things around. You're over there packing Maybe up I'm like you're leaving for him. Mark, why? Why am I doing that? Because you want to go. No, because we have a minute between shows. And I can't pack up. Oh no, I, I appreciate yeah. that. I don't okay, I don't care. Don't like, you just, get it? Yeah, it's all good. Like, like there's nothing you... more satisfying for me than to pack up and remember this microphone uh whatever they're Cover. called. It's yeah. Cover yeah. Yeah. and get out of your way in twelve seconds. You are quick. I try to you have a quick release. <laughs> oh, boy. You're like Jimmy Garoppolo. But yeah, it was embarrassing release. though. I heard I was just like Dibs, every time you're about to fire. Oh, good. Just but be, I'm excited. Keep, Will, that's keep, all, man. I'll wait on you. you guys. Just keep being you. Keep being uh, you. Everything, well, with some tweaks. Everything's great. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, everything's great. Just yeah, keep being you. You're, okay. Ke- you're Kemba Walker. I mean, 8 of 27, but you got your 25. <laughs> I love Norm. <laughs> and that guy, I can't say. Nah, Who man. did you compare him on the Warriors? You kept saying Kimba Walker. He's Kimba Walker. Not Jordan gonna, Poole. Yeah. yeah, Jordan Poole. And Stop honestly, it. that's so harsh. Some people think that this is slander. Oh, that's slander. Uh, Kobe Bryant's last year in the league was the single worst offensive year in the history of the association. He earned that. They, though. Yeah. Look it up. They okay. Look it up. He earned, you're right. He Dibs, earned it's Kobe. That. It doesn't matter. Exactly. The facts. Willer. Yeah. He earned that. Sure. Sure he did. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, oh. he earned tricking off a season. Yeah. For all of his teammates. You guys, boy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he should have tr- changed his name to Jack Bryant because all he did that year was jack it up. Wow. So, and that's fine. It's kind he, of embarrassing. He earned really. it. No, and, and they were terrible anyway. But just in terms of, like, bad offensive years, and we all want to talk about the metrics and the statistics. That was a bad year. He That's all. came back from a torn Achilles. Yeah. Where a lot of yeah. guys would have, we'll see what Aaron Rodgers does, but yeah. he earned that. He's okay. the mamba. So the Aaron Rodgers equivalent next year would be 871 <laughs> pass attempts, 51% accuracy. I wonder accuracy. if he's coming back. I don't know. I'm yeah. eager to see. Willard, I had a tweet. This for you. A tweet last night. I still watch the Giant games. This is right on the table. We mm-hmm. talked about it. Why wouldn't you? 
I don't know why. I said, take, after Norm told me I talk too much, I said, take a playoff and wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Save it for the show. There was nobody at the Giants game. They're a game and a half back. I mm. come in today, say it to Stani, find out you, Evan, and Lucas were all in the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, a picture's worth a thousand words. What What's going on? Uh, it's not good. I can tell you this. Uh, lovely Christy bought us four tickets hey. for her daughter and her and her friend as well, and, and we're down the left field line. They, she, she likes to sit down there, like, you know, kind of foul ball yeah, territory, yeah. left field line. Like where Alex Dickerson used to huck balls at, 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 mm. at cutouts. And, Dick uh, hucking balls. Right. So, we, thank you. So, we were You're there, welcome. and uh, it, it, it starts to fill in, and there's some uh, boisterous people sitting right in front of us. I don't care. It's a ball game. But like, the, how are they boisterous? Just very, like, very loud. Just Belligerent loud. and no, idiots. No, 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 or no, no. The game's just getting started. Astro gear because they have it. Or, see, <laughs> we're, we're radio people. I'm not bothered by loud voices. Sure, mm. right? I, I, it's almost my house. We're not Italian, but it sounds that way. Okay, Christy and her family not necessarily big fans of the, the noise. Right, which is funny why she's with me. But anyway, eh. so. She's like, well, you know, we move back a row. We could move forward a row. Then we look to the right. We could go closer to home plate. The whole damn section's empty. Man. The whole section. And you're so like between like, third base and yeah, the foul pole, yeah. right? Yeah, so between Wilmer, good, and and a half back. Between, yeah. between Wilmer and Mitch, okay. uh, uh, <laughs> about, about 20 rows up. And so we just hopped over to the next section and not only never got asked to move, Nobody oh, ever boy. showed up anywhere. Wow. But the, here's the bigger thing. The bigger thing is the people who are there, the vibe is just like, we're what? just hanging out. And that's a three. We're getting some popcorn. Yeah, man. Like it does not. And I kept telling everybody around, I'm like, the Marlins lost. The D-backs lost. I go, this it's is still a, there. It, right? Blake Sable hits that home run. I'm like, this is a big four innings. And everyone's like, yeah. You got ice cream? Oh, wow. Can you can you get some cookies? Really? Do you, we'll do, do you think it's kind of official that it's not just enough for the Giants to win? Oh, yeah. Like well, they have to. Do you, do you mean like for changes to happen? No, I mean for more people to come to the ballpark. The like they, they got to have a star is what I'm saying. I don't even know if they need a star. I think that somewhere in, but th this is the, they need better players. It's not, I, I. They just need better players. I don't know if they – maybe we've gone too far. We've fixated in the other direction, the Otani Derby. They need a star. No, they need, they need better players. They need, so there's one man they whose need more job hits. is to do that. Yeah. Would you say he's not done a good job? Uh, this year, yeah. Their plan didn't work this year. For sure. Yeah. Do you think they're in danger, either of them? I don't. I don't. Damn it. Not not this year. I think I think the people who are saying that want it to be true. Uh, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I. I, I like, and then like, what if you did? Very, what do you, where do you go? Yeah, exactly. So exactly. I I will say it is uncomfortable, and I know it's just the pitchers who were signed to be starters. Well, you going and they're something. they're chirping, but there's one thing. I I think there's two ways to look at this. You can be bummed um, if you're. You look at Alex Wood, for, for example. It's like, dude, your, your ERA is like six. What are you chirping about? But it's not about that. Stripling is talking about communication. Mm. Stripling is like, I was told this, and then this happened. That is not good leadership. I don't care what your decision is. I don't care if you want to start him, bench him, phantom Oh, you're IL. saying for, for cap. And the if you're telling your players one thing and doing another, that is... That is the definition of poor leadership. Mm. And that's the accusation that's on the table. Boy. What, what do you say? I mean, does anyone disagree with that? Like, no. The manager can make the decision. I would say you're believing to... Stripling over, not that Gabe's having a hissy it, fit with them back and forth, but are we going to believe Stripling? Like, the, could there be something else to it? Could Gabe be like, listen, or if, if it did go down that way, you're right, but. I'm wondering, ain't, ain't well, too many else in that you, line outside of Wood. You've heard Alex Wood, and we had Sean Manaya on oh, our I very show, that. and Manaya was not, you know, oh that gosh. that out front about his maybe distaste for what was going on. He didn't but know his role. He Ooh. was a little bit like, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm in the bull, you know. 
I oh pitched when he was a tell me to pitch kind of thing. And, you know, he started the whole time, and then now he's kind of not. And so I think if you're, you know, if you're 90 and 55, you're not saying anything. But when you're a 500 club, mm. it's easy to, to, to chime in. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app. Twitch and YouTube powered by First NorCal Credit Union. Go ahead, Goo. No, I'm, I'm passing the rock. No, yeah. no. We it's need you to score. Willard, yeah. did you, can you clarify the Stafford <laughs> over Purdy, or did you say something different? I'm just... What do you mean? We put uh, our social put up that you would take Stafford over Purdy. No, the opposite. That was me. The opposite. Yeah, that was me. The opposite. I, I, I'll have I, to check I, our social on it, that. It, but it, And again, to, to put out... The, the, the topic I didn't hit that was, play. The, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah well, go ahead. <laughs> I, I saw the caption, no. and I thought Willard had said it. No, no. And, wow. And, well, and I actually think the caption was out there. You might just be switching the names, or who knows? Maybe Social did. But no, I, I Purdy over Stafford for me. For me, the discussion was about forget resume and who's established in the league. Just go through the quarterbacks right now and tell me how many quarterbacks you say. And I listen to you guys. Before yes, you get Ooh. to Purdy – <laughs> far as who you would take to be the Niner quarterback. For me, I I, I got to him eighth. Right. Dibs, what'd you get to him? Twelfth? Yeah. And yeah. I thought I thought the win the window to me is eight to thirteen. It was your boy, Micah Parsons, said he's a top yeah. fifteen QB, yeah. and we all went, ooh. You called him a top fifteen QB, and then I stopped and thought about it and I went, actually, you're kind of crazy if you don't. Because yeah. the names you'd have to start taking over him to put him out of the fifteen, you gotta start taking names like Daniel Jones. You got to start taking names like Derek Carr, Jared Goff, Kenny Pickett, Jimmy Garoppolo. I, I don't see how you do that. Mm. I, I don't see how you do that with what this kid's achieved. And you know, like I said, it's you know he's played eight, ten games. If like this is who he is, it doesn't mean he's not going to have a bad game here and there. But you know, like let's talk about the bad games for a sec. If and when he has one, as bad. Think about this. As bad as some people think Jimmy Garoppolo played. Like he never played. Like he was never terrible. He never. Had, I think um, he had one three interception game. Well, the Tennessee like, Thursday like, night when what his I, what finger I'm was dead, it was bad. I, I guarantee. Like Purdy's not going to have a three interception game. Well, you can't say that. I, I don't think he I mean, will. He could. Yeah, I hear what you. What, do you mean with Jimmy? He was never bad for a stretch, or never bad for a game. I mean, like that game like, against kind Denver of for a last stretch. year was was absolutely gross. And I and I agree with you. Tennessee. Oh, the he year threw the that, game away. He, he blew the game. So there there were games. I, I agree with you. There was never like a five week stretch of poor play. I thought he was considered a worse quarterback by some than he actually was. Jimmy? He's a middle of the pack hmm, quarterback. Of course. Yeah. So uh, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But Brock, like, I mean, this is completely elevated from Jimmy. Don't you think? Just look at the yes. points they're scoring. This, is, this yeah. is totally elevated from Jimmy. And, and, and it is. Yeah. How yeah. many games did Garoppolo have with McCaffrey last year? Uh, three or couple. four, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. If you count Miami, I think it's uh, it's three. I want to say the Kansas City game was he, he only played a little a bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then. Uh, I got you. G- give, me, give me five seconds, and I'll tell you how many he had. The Kansas City game. Was um, so that was partial McCaffrey. Yeah. Then he had full McCaffrey in LA. Sure. Against yeah. the Rams. Then he had full McCaffrey at home okay. to the Chargers. Yeah. At home to Arizona. Oh. At home to New Orleans. So four. And then the first right. quarter of the Miami game. Yeah. So basically four and change. And those had, that, yeah. those Chargers and the New Orleans games were not good offensive right. games. Wow. They were not. They right. Beat, they beat the Saints thirteen to nothing. Yeah, that was a weird game. It no was. Doubt. Saints have a no good doubt. defense. Yeah, they yeah. do. Brock Purdy's better than Jimmy Garoppolo. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Which uh, is why I had Brock ahead of uh, Jimmy Garoppolo in my uh, quarterback rankings, which we'll do every day. And they've changed since <laughs> yesterday, guys, <laughs> uh, as, as you should great. know. Well, this whole thing is such nonsense. And there's a Bleacher well, Report uh, tweet that came out. And, oh, we got Brock Purdy now. He's up to number 24. He's up from 32 to 24. Nice. All of these power rankings. And all due respect, Guru, yeah. I heard you guys earlier on Monday. <laughs> yeah. And you're... Power rankings to me, power rankings in the NFL and quarterback rankings and all the rest of them. it. I hate them okay. because in football they have a thing called the standings, and that to me is what the real power rankings are. So, like Kansas City, they're zero and one. Why I have them as the fourth best team in football? 
Who cares? They're 0-1. Right. If the playoffs start today, they're not in the playoffs. Yeah. So, for me, power rankings is best served for high school and college because in college it actually matters. And Mark made a good point earlier. I uh, might have been in the green room or our show meeting about, like, where it, may, it was yesterday on the show, where you start in your preseason rankings actually matters in terms of what bowl game True. Right. you I eventually got, yes. play in. It actually matters where you're ranked. In the NFL, none of this nonsense matters at right. all. But well, if we came into this NFL season about that, and you're right with the high school and the college, I, I, I can say nothing but you're right. We would come in and probably 90% of the world, 99% of the world would have Kansas City a top two team. Sure. But if it were six weeks into this new NFL season and Kansas City's on six, if I did my power rankings, right. I think it would be fair for me to say I got Kansas City at the bottom. or And you would have to be, if you go resume, guru, you're tripping. But if I go just off of the six weeks, it would be valid. Well, but if I, they won 11 in a row... And then they got into the wild card and they won the Super Bowl. Then would you slowly move them up? Oh, your, no doubt. Your power rankings, no, no doubt. Well, well, you're right that it doesn't matter. Power right, stands, it doesn't right? matter. But the, the results. Yeah. We, we we grew up. Uh, if you grew up here, right? You grew up in a in a pro sports town. This is a pro sports town, and and so that's part of it. But whenever people ask me, you know, college or pro. It's for me. It's a thousand percent pro. Not that I don't love college football, but well, that's we a big, don't. I sent a tweet the other night. Well, no, I no. we don't talk about it a lot on on these airwaves. It doesn't mean individually some of us don't love college football. Uh, I'll, I'll be knee deep in it all day Saturday. Yeah. But, but bottom line is, is is that that for me is the difference. The difference is is that the NFL is a meritocracy, largely not only in training camp, but it also is in the standings. You, you win, you win. You lose, you yeah. lose. Nobody gets into a boardroom at the end of the game and decides who gets to go to the Super Bowl. Right. College football, for me, will never meet the NFL until it fixes that. Okay. 100% of your outcome must be on the field or you're not fully a true sport. Mm. You're, you're, I'm mad at you. you're opinion-based. I don't even understand that. Like, that. that's... Yeah. Right? And Shout so, out gymnastics and figure skating. The, re the reason this came up, though, was the, what the word that we've coined, draftism. Brock Purdy suffers from draftism. There's a guy with Bleacher Report. We're trying to get him on today. Who's got Are his, you going to stick it to him? Oh, He's yes, ducking absolutely. us. Absolutely. QB power rankings. Okay. okay. Brock Purdy is 23rd, which is already ludicrous. But if you want to go dive deep, you know, people will say, oh, well, why is he 23rd? Well, we haven't seen enough. Well, he's got Jordan Love at 19. Wow, but you spectacular. What are we doing? <laughs> no, I got it. You are suffering from draftism. Jordan Love, first-round pick. Brock Purdy, seventh-round pick. Other than that, give me one thing that you can yeah. say and to I'll put down. Jordan Love ahead. Jordan Love's got a better winning percentage. I mean, cooler last name, too. <laughs> and unlike you know. for Daniel <laughs> Dimes, I would have raised true. Daniel Dimes and put Purdy above Daniel Dimes. Easily. I, I, hey, he had a great season, but I know what are you bringing to the table, and your boy has it upstairs, Brock Purdy. So I, Derek Carr, okay, what do you have? The resume? But man, it looks like your boy Brock it's, is trending to get past Carr where Carr was at. This cat's got Ryan Tannehill at 13. He was, uh, he's good. And Lord. Brock Purdy's at 23. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tannehill struggled. Yeah. I mean, might have. You, yeah, you got Hopkins at your disposal. Yeah. I always, when I, when I ask that question, you know, I'd say, I always think you got to take the quarterback right now. Like right now, you got to take the quarterback. So you get Purdy, you know, you know, you're taking uh, Aaron Rodgers or Brock Purdy. Well, you're taking Brock Purdy. Right yeah. now you yes. are. Yeah. yeah. Aaron's but, unavailable. But, you know who's who's at a better? You know, it's Rogers going to the Hall of Fame, and you right. would take Rogers fifteen out of seventeen years. You know, there you go. That's all. Nine. Yeah, this dude's I, off to I'm a hot you. start, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna. Grab I'm gonna I got sweatshirts on. Well, he wore go. that when he was courtside we're last year. I, I got to go uh, take care of some business. Ooh, make yeah, sure, uh, yeah. Ooh, make uh -huh. sure everything's uh, on the up and up. I don't sure. know what you're gonna do, but yeah. I, I got to uh, I got to hit it. Uh, but uh, as Kendrick Perkins says, carry on. Okay, we will.